Hey Tom, back again. I, I mean, two cents in one year, or two cents in one month even. This is kind yeah. of astonishing work. Virtually so actually the same week. The same <laughs> week. So this is the Ample. Yes. Is this a byproduct at all of, of anything, or is this just running concurrently? It's um, most of the other products that come to the, like the end of their production life. So this is like the replacement for a lot of things I do. But it's it combines some of best features of several recent products so the sequencer is part of the generator elements of that in there we've got the interval generator for preset voltages similar to the fuse box um, the general synth architecture is you know just a traditional you know free vco type thing a bit like the fuse box and and a, just a, a, regu uh, a regular low pass vcf is that uh what, what's that yes yeah, uh 24 Four pole. DB. Is um, it a ladder or is it something different? It's the, it's the same type of chip as the Pro 1 and all that era. Yeah, really, like, deep. Oh, Good so lots kicks. of whip. Yes. And whoop. Fantastic. Full resonance and a lot of sweep. Yeah, nice. Um, and we got the same echo in here as the Maximus. Um, and then the patch panel, you know, EMSE slash Vostok type thing. And conventional jacks there just for external you know patching with other gear um, this patch bay sort of approach seems to be sort of coming back into into fashion doesn't it to a degree there seems to be more of it I mean I can think of a couple of things that are, yeah. are coming along and also that are in production and it's kind of like I mean I, I mean obviously EMS are the most notoriously famous um, I think I for, for most of the last 25 years it's only really been me doing it and but yeah, you're right. It's it's starting to appear more. I, I'm surprised. The OG. Yeah, well, I'm surprised that people ha didn't start doing it sooner. Are you but doing that no. thing where you can have different resistance in the pins and? Change yes. The so uh, there's diff we've got three values at the moment. The black is zero ohms. Red is 10k. And there's a blue one here, which is 100. Seems a good good enough spread. Uh, of, and uh, is that like depth effectively but it's like it's, like it's an attenuator attenuator right okay so yeah um, most of the circuits have got a level control anyway but that would affect everything on that uh, matrix strip right, right I've got you so you can use the pins to get different levels um, now yes you can obviously do your bases and leads and that. Yeah, but, Starsky's um, done a really good uh, uh, demo. Yeah, and as it, you yeah. can hear from his demos, it's it's a really good percussion machine. So you can obviously use the filter to get your deep high Q sounds. Um, and you've got the ring mod in there as well to get kind of metallic hi-hats. But uh, you can do some patching here. So there's a, the top socket is actually gated noise. So there are 16 like preset snare patterns that you can s select one and it, it will give you gated snare and you can patch that back into one of the audio inputs, ah, VCF okay. or VCA. And then there are clock pul different clock pulses out here uh, and you can use those as like a kick source. So you can have yeah. multiple concurrent uh, so you can have like divisions a, a click slash kick sound and a noise snare going in back into the filter as well as the internal synth doing stuff so uh, as you can hear in Starsky's video and um, ours, our, may, our video may even be out today I haven't had a chance to check but it's imminent anyway the official video and uh, more to come obviously but you can hear it it's like a analog percussion machine Right. So as a side is it, this thing, is making a sound at the moment Andy we set up a brief uh, 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 yes I think let's start the sequencer so you can hear a burst of noise in there that just is coming in. We've got a bit of a click going in from the, like a four, like four on the floor pulse, if you want to call it four on the floor. And then we've got a bit of ring mod in there. And and then, you know, a bit of echo. It's 
quite a nice BBD sort of vibe to that, Yanko. Is, yeah. is it a BBD delay? It's not actually, but it's been chosen because it has that kind of sound. It's nice grungy kind of old retro sounding delay rather than the, like a crisp digital thing. Yeah, I realise that at these sort of events it's kind of hard to do a... Here's a demo of a load of sounds because it's not a preset machine, right? I mean, no, no, like exactly. It's not like... Uh, you got but then that's that's what we want. We want to craft our sounds, or I like to craft sounds. So you've gone for quite non-standard. That's not 19 inch. It's just a big old no, desktop it's, slab, right? It's, yes, it's, it's it's quite wide to fit all the circuitry in there and all that business. And you know, if you think of a mixer like this, everything's squashed together. I don't want to squash together. I want to be able to get to each control without having to not accidentally knock the next one. So th is this shipping now? Is this actually on the... <clears throat> yeah, a bit like Maximus really. It did really well and the first batch sold out. I usually do a small batch initially, just, uh, yeah, just it's easier that way. And yeah. then the second batch is usually bigger. That That's coming end of October, oh, right, so okay. not what, long. What's the what's the, the, the current price for it? Have you got it's a... just under two grand plus VAT. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, say they they were sold out, but I am taking pre-orders for the second batch. I have another question: Is you yep. you've, you've eschewed the colourful back the uh, back catalogue because you used to you you, know, you often use quite bright colours in your stuff. You've gone well, for that sort of uh, more sober cream. Is there any reason behind that? Um, I used to use this kind of slightly off-white 10, 15 years ago. So there was a Telemark semblance yep, Nibor. Yep. They were all this colour. Uh, so I've kind of gone back to it. So add some paint in the shed you wanted to use up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old paint, paint tins. Um, no, I love the orange fuse box. It's just a really nice colour. Um, and obviously there are a lot of black simps, so like my Leipzig one was always that colour. Uh, just going back to the colour color schemes we used about 15, 10 years ago. Right. For now, anyway, who knows what the next one will do. Thank you very much, Tom. Yeah, no problem, Nick. Thank you.